Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start a playlist on database management and system. In this, today we are going to discuss about the introduction to our database management system. So, first the point is what is database management system? So here in these database management system, first we are going through a word called data. A data is nothing but our application program that we write in C, C++, like programming languages. Okay. And what is this overall database considered as the overall storage of this data? That is the programs which we write in C, C++ are stored in these the form of database this overall set of programs are called as this database okay why it is termed as database what is the reason that it is termed as database is a data is nothing but a program these programs which are related to each other that is the programs which uh, relates to it uh, to each other these are considered and stored in a collection known as database. This collection can be seen like this. Uh, the database is uh, shown here. The collection of the related data. Suppose I have written the program in C language. For that C program, uh, I have a sub programs like a, uh, C program for arrays, C program for 2D arrays, C program for multi-dimensional arrays. These programs which are related to set of array programs are stored in a separate database. Okay, so the thing is not so typical. The database is the one which collection, which collects the related data. And now we'll come to our database management system. What is called the database management system? Why it is called a management system? See, uh, if we have uh, going to uh, organize a function, suppose a family function, then uh, everything have to be organized in advance. That is, uh, if we want uh, order caterings, if we want order uh, water supply to our relative, uh, to our guests, then it become a problem in the uh, function. Okay, so. To uh, organize our function correctly and to uh, maintain our function process in a quite uh, easy and uh, peaceful way, we organize our function in advance before one week or two weeks. So in this way, our data also be organized. That is to access our data or to delete something from our data or to update our data. What we do is we'll organize it them in a uh, way such that we can manage our organization easily by uh, deleting or uh, some updating our data easily. So these can be done by database management system. See, allows user to access data in a database related data. That is the, as we have discussed already, database stores the related data and these related data can be accessed through this database management system. And these database management system allows us to store and retrieve and update or any operations that were made on the data will allowed by the database management system. And now we have a, a metadata. So what is metadata? Metadata is a data about data, which we will see in on later on classes, that is relations. That is, we will see in the form of tables. That is, one data is related to another data and another data is related to another data in the form of relation tables. You will see them in uh, further classes. So overall database is connected to user in this format. The database is the one which has a related data and the database management system allows user to 
access, retrieve, uh, whatever operations on the data will be performed through database management system. And these database management system helps user to store, retrieve everything operation which will be done on the data will be made easy by this database management system to the user. And main purpose as we have already discussed, database management system is for storing and retrieving the information or the data. Okay, the main uses about these database management system can be considered as uh, in banking. In banking, while doing our transactions, suppose them um, while we are doing transactions, so uh, we have to maintain a record that who have transaction and what amount and what is the total account balance he has. So in the database management system is used and restaurants to keep uh, the food menu and to select the orders we use database management system in some of the government organizations as well we use database management system such as in uh, pensions uh, in pension giving by the government uh, it will make a database which uh, it will verify that uh, these person belongs to the government organization or not if yes then it will provide the amount and then in schools to maintain the records of the uh, students what is his age what is his role number what is his name it will all be maintained by this uh, database management system so in schools as well as in colleges same purpose is used so these are some of the examples of the database management system now let us see overall definitions of this database management system that we have discussed till now so let's see the definitions of these important database management system so first we'll discuss a uh, data a data is a uh, anything in the form of a quantity character or a symbol suitable for use in a computer data is distinguished from program as we have seen this before in the discussion it's quite simple to understand this definition okay and then we have database a database is a set of instructions or a collection of related data from which users can be easily retrieved and access the derived information as we have discussed already the database is nothing but a related data that is a set of data which relates to each other okay then we have database management system a database management system oh no 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 first we discuss about the database system a database system is designed by to manage the data or a large amount of information okay what is the main purpose that we see in this point is to manage large chunks of data or to manage too much large of data we use database systems okay a database system is an integrated collection of data which is stored in the database okay so why uh, would uh, these database system help us in what way it will help us is it will help us in retrieving the data it help us in storing the data it help us in performing any operations on the data as well then we have database management system to access the stored data or to manage any to make any changes on these stored data we have to perform some operations if we perform operations without the help of the database management system it will be quite typical and difficult to use then we'll go through this database management system a database management system is a system or program that allows user to access the collection of data which is stored in a database so it will help us to store the data in the form of collected data in the database so the main objective of database management system is to provide a convenient and effective technique of storing and retrieving the database information so as we have discussed before it help us it make us convenient in the uh, form of uh, giving some techniques to store and retrieve our data 
then the point is the database is a collection of interrelated data stored to the server so database as we have discussed before database is a interrelated data that is the data which relates to each other will be stored in the form of database and these databases are organized by files records and some fields this will this point will make you uh, understand a uh, difficult a little bit we'll go through this point in the further classes and then it is it is uh, designed to manage the data or a large amount of information so to manage a large amount of data as we have uh, taken an example of a family function that we will plan the for the family function in advance without planning then the implementation will become spoiled so uh, the management of the large chunks of data is really important okay uh, it's a simple example that i have given below that is uh, some students uh, serial number roll number name this is some of the details which are stored in one place that is related to each other that suppose prakash prakash roll number is one prakash uh, serial number is one these all are related to each other and these all database is stored in the form of a data table these are interrelated data and these data can be retrieve or change suppose i want to change the roll number of the prakash then i'll change the roll number with the help of database management system okay in this we database management system help us in retrieving storing and managing our data so this is the small introduction about the database management system in the next session we'll go through deep into this topic and if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so that i can be little motivated to make more videos on this channel thank you